Hello, this is Hello Gabbyist, and I have the latest collaboration with Hello Kitty and Tea Drop. I am so excited when I heard the announcement. Now, honestly, I am not a tea drinker. I am more of a coffee drinker, but how can I pass up something as fabulous as this collaboration with Tea Drop and Hello Kitty? I placed my order about seven days ago, and I just got my box. And so there's really nothing much to the box. And uh, it does say here that it is fragile and make sure that the box is this side up. So I'm not sure what happened during shipment. I hope that nothing is broken in here. So I wanna go ahead and open it up and see what I got. I do wanna show you my nails that I just got done. These are Presta nails I got at Walmart for like $7. And these are actually like neon green on the tip, so they would have been perfect for Halloween. Um, I got them after the fact, but that's okay because I absolutely love them. I hope I can at least last with them about five days. So, but I'm so happy with my new nails. So now let's go ahead and see what we got in the box. So we got our receipt or our invoice and I ordered two kits. So the Hello Kitty English Breakfast Bobo Kit and the Hello Kitty Trio Strawberry Matcha English Breakfast Kit. The Tea Drops and Hello Kitty Bobo Tea Kit was $25 and the Trio Set Strawberry Matcha Apple Pie La Mode and English Breakfast Kit was $47. I was also able to get a 15% discount and their shipping was free. So the total was $61.20 for these two kits. So the first kit, um, <clears throat> and off the bat guys, like I said, I love to collect the packaging that it comes in depending on how salvageable it is. Um, and just to show you the the first box here, it's dented. I don't like that at all, guys. So when I order something, I really like to receive it in uh, excellent condition. And I think that they probably could have packaged it a little bit better. Uh, but nevertheless, I got my kit and I'm still very happy. So this first one is the Hello Kitty Bubble Tea Kit. I really love the design. Gives you the nutrition there, I like that. And here is the instructions on how to make your bubble tea. Now this kit says that it includes eight English breakfast tea drops, eight servings of the boba, and one metal boba straw. Now to be honest with you, I've never tried boba tea before. Um, so this is gonna be my first, and if I love it, I'll just continue ordering it from Tea Drop. So I am very happy. Now, I also like that it gives you the caffeine level, which they included as three dots here. So it definitely has caffeine. Um, it gives you the nutrition value. And I was also shocked to know that the bobo tea is 140 calories, and then the English breakfast is only 20 calories. So, um, it really is not a low calorie drink. Now, as far as the bubble teas by themselves, I don't know if they're also high in calorie, but I was just noticing those items. And I also like that they included a sticker here to make sure that they either sell the product by the date and or hopefully uh, the freshness date. I was also noticing, uh, and this is perhaps regarding the shipping, the seal is already broken. I didn't have to open it. That was already open. So that's already, that's already doesn't look good for me, but okay. So let's see what I got. Ooh, so we have a bunch of these little package, little packs. 
So this is the English breakfast and this is the black tea and it gives you the caffeine level here at the bottom. And on the other side, it also tells you the best buy date, which is pretty cool. So I have plenty of time to try these if I wanted to. Really like the individual packaging. So this is the English tea. And again, we should be receiving eight of these little packets. And there are eight of them. And then on the other side, here's where the English tea came in. Now on the other side is the boba tea and it gives you also the best buy date, the batch lot number, SKU number, and also nutrition value here. So I'm not sure if this is normally how the boba, I guess, comes. And um, like I said, I've never tried this before and I don't know that um, these pretty much looks already like a powder. Um, maybe that's how you make the tea. Like I said, I am not sure. Um, but you could hardly see some of the actual um, round tea, the bubba tea in here. And then there are two packets. This one looks like it's in a better condition. In fact, this one looks a little bit more um, air sealed because you can actually see the plastic wrapped around the bubble tea. And they're more intact versus this one. There is, there's already air has gotten in here. So I'm a little alarmed about that. And uh, you can tell that this one has been squashed. So compared with these two, you can see the difference between the two. So that's something I'm gonna definitely bring up to tea drops and let them know. One, the box did come crushed on the corner and then Two, the box was already open, the seal was already broken. Three, this one looks like it's already been squashed and air has gotten through versus this one. So I will address that and I'll let you know what they say. And so one more thing in this box and that is the actual uh, straw. So this is supposed to be the rose gold straw and this is big enough to be able to like suck through a bubble tea. So it looks more like a brownish copper color, not necessarily a rose gold. And you can read here that it does say tea drop here. Very slight. So there you go. So next item in the box is this trail set and it says tea drops. So this is what it has inside. And I wanna say that at least this kit was at least better packaged than the first one. Um, Hello Kitty ears are a little bent here on the box, but it's not a big deal. And you can see the three different uh, teas that are in here. And so this one is the English breakfast. This one is apple pie la mode. This one is strawberry matcha green tea. This one is caffeinated. And of course the English breakfast is caffeinated. Apple pie la mode is caffeine free. So there you go. Really nice. And you do see the nutrition value in the back. So there's 10 each. Here's the side of the box. So this is after removing the little canisters. This is what you get on the packaging. And you get these awesome little canisters. Really cute. I really love the decoration for each of these little canisters and it tells you about the tea in the back. So this one is the English breakfast and this is the strawberry matcha green tea. Really 
really cute, really pretty, very decorative. And then lastly, we do have the Apple Pile Mode. This is the one I'm really interested in trying. Cool. So then we do have, and again, there's 10 uh, tea drops in here. So we do have then the three canisters. We have the Bubba Tea Set. And I want to go to my kitchen and at least try out at least one tea and see how it tastes. Hello. Okay, here we are in my kitchen. And I want to try out at least the three different teas. Um, as I was explaining to you before, this bubble tea set because one of the boba packages was open. I don't trust to try the other one. So we are going to set this one aside. And I do want to try the ones that came in this box here, the three of them. And so we have them here. I've already opened them. They were sealed, so I did check. I have already heated my water and that's here. And I do have three espresso cups and I chose these because they're see-through and I wanted to see what it looked like. So I am going to pour my water in each cup. So the first one I am going to drop in is the ooh, strawberry matcha green tea. So um, as soon as you open it, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to get one of these out. And I do like that you have to open all of them individually. smell strawberry just from the package. I do smell the tea, so I'm going to drop it in now. And I'm going to do the same with the other two. So the one in the middle is going to be the apple pie a mode. This is the one I'm really excited about. what it looks like. Mm, this one smells like apple pie for sure. Mm, so I'm going to drop it in. And then the last one is going to be the English breakfast. And that's what that looks like. like tea, English tea. Okay. And so there we go. Now I'm gonna go back and stir all my teas. There should be sugar in here already. And so this is the color. It looks just like matcha tea. This one is the apple pie a la mode. I'm gonna try the strawberry matcha tea. I taste slight strawberry. The matcha, um, it's not a strong taste, but it's very good. It has a very, very good taste to it. Now the one in the middle, which is the apple pie a la mode, I'm going to stir it again because it's very hard to break up this one. And the water was boiling, so and even then it's still hard to break up. 
and you can see a lot of little grains floating around in the water so it's not dissolving the way it should be. Okay, so you can see it there. You can see it very grainy. So let me try it. It does taste like apple. I wouldn't say apple pie. Mm. And just know that the tea does separate quickly. All of the grains are already going down here and I just stirred it. Okay, now the last one is the English breakfast. I'll give it one last stir. And of course, this one is the darkest one. Mm. Mm. It's very strong tasting. It's definitely for breakfast. Mm. But all of these do have the right amount of sugar, right amount of tea. This one dissolves really great, the English breakfast one. Um, and then this one, the strawberry matcha, as you can see, it already fell all the way down. And then of course the apple pie a la mode, unfortunately, um, even right after it just separates quickly, it just falls all the way to the ground. Um, but I want to say that my most favorite is going to be the English tea and the strawberry and matcha. The one that I was really looking forward to, the apple pie a la mode, I, it tastes like apple, a slight apple, it has the right amount of sweetness and it does smell really good. See, and it doesn't dissolve right away, there's even like a little chunk stuck behind the spoon here. That's not good and the water was boiling. So. Um, these are the three different teas. Um, I would say that if I were to buy these again, I would probably then just buy the English breakfast tea. Um, I did like the concept that you don't actually need a tea bag to make your tea. And these drops are already come with your tea and sugar. And I thought that was just something really quick and easy that you can make for yourself. Just to take you into a closer look, so this one is the English breakfast one. And this is the actual tea. I wanna see the details on the Hello Kitty. Very subtle. I wouldn't expect it to be perfect, that's for sure. But this is the little, it looks like a little chocolate. But this is the English tea. And this is the English tea here. So I've already been mixing it. I'm gonna open up a apple pie a la mode. So this one looks like this. You really can't see much of the Hello Kitty details. This is the apple pie a la mode. As you can see how it goes all the way to the bottom right away. But I'm gonna mix it just so you can see what I mean. You can see all the little grains already. And unfortunately, when you drink this, you feel it in between your teeth. You're like biting, like if you're biting on dirt, which is not good. It's one, the strawberry and matcha. I'm gonna take a closer look at this little pod. And you really can't see the Hello Kitty detail. This is the tea here, and you can see how it just settled all the way to the bottom already. OK, 
Okay, so these are my teas in my pantry. So I have my three brand new ones from Tea Drop. I have my hibiscus plum ginger tea, two cocos, and I also have a birthday tea here. Love it. Okay, so you saw the video on me actually trying the three different teas. Um, they are very good. My final thoughts on the three teas, and again, remember that I couldn't try this bubble tea kit because it is open and I don't want to risk anything. I have emailed uh, Tea Drop and uh, letting them know. So it's been about 45 minutes, still haven't heard anything. Um, I also did try to go via chat. Um, they do take a while. Uh, I was on there for like 30 minutes and um, they stated that they were going to uh, send me another box. So. Uh, if they send me another box, that's great. I don't necessarily want my money back. I really just want to try it out. So um, I will let you guys know. So, so far, I think that the matter has been taken care of. I'm still waiting on my new order number and tracking number to see when they will resend this kit here. So fingers crossed. Now, as far as the other three teas, you saw me trying them out and they are really good so if you just fairly mix them you do gotta wait a little bit and they do sit down quickly the tea does um, and then you're able to drink it and not feel like a mouthful of gritty tea in your mouth now um, here the instructions do say to just drop it in hot water and or you can drink it as an iced tea as well so know that it is a little difficult to uh, dissolve the strawberry matcha dissolved right away the apple pie limo did not so uh, maybe you want to dissolve it in hot water and then put it if you're going to be drinking it cold because for sure in cold water it's not going to dissolve quickly and then lastly, my issue was with the tea obviously going all the way down to the bottom. And if you're going to be drinking it cold like with a straw, you're going to pretty much be drinking up all of that tea at the bottom. And that's not very pleasant. At least it's not for me. Like I said, I'm a coffee drinker, but I'm willing to give this a chance now. Um, but I love hot beverages. I prefer hot coffee over cold coffee. So with tea, I prefer hot tea over cold tea, obviously. So either way, the flavors were really good. The English tea, the English breakfast tea is very strong, definitely for breakfast. The apple pie a la mode does smell a lot like apple. Um, it tastes like apple, not necessarily apple pie but it has the right amount of sweetness and that's also very good. And then the strawberry and matcha, same thing. It has the right amount of sweetness. You can barely taste, you know, the strawberry and of course the matcha. But in tea, I don't want like a big, I don't want dessert in a cup is what I'm saying. So the flavors for me were, were, were right to my taste. They all three have the same amount of sweetness and um, I can see myself buying tea drops again, but maybe just the English breakfast tea and not the other two teas. Um, and maybe it's because I'm a coffee drinker and I like my coffee strong. And the English breakfast was the strongest one. Obviously, it's English breakfast. So, but those are my thoughts. Let me know if you've already ordered uh, tea drops with Hello Kitty collaboration. Let me know which one was your favorite. Also, let me know if you did try the bubble tea. Let me know, did you like it? How did you make it? And um, how does it taste? I have never tried uh, bubble tea, by the way. So uh, that would be very interesting. I hope to get the order in right away. I definitely do want to give this a chance and maybe I can be a lover of boba tea from this point on. So who knows? I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.